So the three counterattacks are another good drill just by themselves, and you can fence somebody with just the three counterattacks, and you don't even necessarily have to tell them that's how you're gonna fence them. So it's a great way to practice you know, in a bouting environment where you may not have cooperative opponents. Um, so the three counterattacks, as we call them here, uh, are to either counterattack number one is to hit and then run away. So uh, if I come forward on my attack, you can just hit me and then retreat. And you can attack, hit me in the shoulder or the arm or the hand even. Um, counterattack number two is to get away first and then hit. So I launch my attack, he retreats, and then hits me. Uh, and counterattack number three is to launch uh, usually a flash, but a strong offensive action in the beginning of my attack to close me out. So I just start my attack and then blast into me before I, my attack is really developed. So the three counterattacks are what we call uh, mutually supportive actions. The better you are at doing any one of the three counterattacks, the easier it is to do the other two because your opponent will have to work harder to compensate. Um, so the progression of beginning FA fencers is they usually learn counterattack number one first, and therefore the attacks that they learn tend to be usually compound attacks where they make advanced lunge, draw their opponent's counterattack, pick up the blade, and then hit. Um, so once your opponents do advanced lunge quite well and they have a good job of picking up your counter one, um, then uh, you can counter that by doing counterattack number two where you make their advanced lunge fall short, you then punish them uh, for, for lunging, um, or going to counterattack number three, where you s launch your flesh right at the beginning of their advanced lunge. So we saw earlier that the advance is the most opportune time to attack. Um, so just to, if we fence, um, so Cody can free fence uh, with just the three counterattacks, I'll just do my normal fencing, and uh, you can see that it's a very effective way to, uh, to stretch your opponent's uh, defenses, and it forces you to use your counterattack number three as your only chance to attack, really. Uh, that means you're waiting for your opponent's step to launch your attack, which is the best time to attack anyway. So it's a, it's a great drill just to narrow your mind to just these three choices. Two. 